Well, let's tackle prostitution by choice or trafficked into sex for sale. What does it mean for dignity in a woman's choice? Naomi Zacharias is the director of Wellspring International and has tackled that subject. Hello, Naomi. Hello, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you back. Your book, Scent of Water, was a, a wonderful book for me oh, to discover. <laughs> but this is a very um, troublesome global issue that you have been observing as a humanitarian agency. Tell us the scope of human trafficking globally. How bad is it? Well, you know, I think that's been something that's interesting to see the last couple of years. When we started working in the field, it was 2004, and you really didn't have too many people talking about it. And I think in these last several years, we've really seen awareness rise, and there is a lot of good to that, obviously. But I think one of the things that's interesting is even with the level of awareness that's gone up, with the money that has poured in, the funds that have poured in to try to protect against certain, um, you know, abuse that happen with it, we're still seeing the numbers rise. And so I think it really does ask a question of all of us on this global scale of what is happening around us today. Why are these issues growing? Why is the level of abuse um, growing? And what have we done to kind of create a landscape where that's happening? So sex for sale is what we're talking about uh, against a woman's will, trafficked into it. What kind of environments set the scene for trafficking? Um, I mean, I think you, if you go back to it, when to, in order to have a, a, a world that where there's a demand for trafficking, we've created a demand for sex. We've cl created a kind of demand for exploitation. Um, I mean, we could probably have our own show where we talk about connections to that. How have we created those hungers for those kinds of things? Mm -hmm. What have we set up? What kind of systems have we set up that have actually served to make wom women more vulnerable to a kind of exploitation in that? Okay, so that brings us to this challenge that Canada is having to uh, review its prostitution law. Very tight law now. Women arguing it's, uh, it's making those who are in sex work by choice vulnerable mm -hmm. because they can't advertise as much. They can't pre-screen their clients, their johns. But you have challenged me that there is something we need to talk about in this word choice. Mm -hmm. Ex help me understand the difference here between trafficked and in the sex work by choice. So one of the areas that we have worked quite a bit in is the city of Amsterdam. So that's a question that also co that comes up often in because the city it's of legal Amsterdam. Wide yes. open, women yep. in the windows. Yep. And terrible. Amsterdam is known kind of as a champion and sort of a forerunner for that. Um, but they have faced a lot of issues. I think Amsterdam is really interesting to look at in this whole context because they legalize prostitution and it's known around the world for that. But they have faced some real challenges with um, the exploitation that's happened. They have raised their increased their security. They increase the age limits, uh, organized crime. They've had a lot of problems with that in the last couple of years and the links to the prostitution industry. But that question of choice is one that comes up a lot. So if a woman has been trafficked, she has been forced, coerced, pressured, and put there not against, I mean, being put there behind a window against her will. So I think the two issues with trafficking that they say is there has to be force and coercion, and the second is for the purpose of exploitation. So that is what defines trafficking. Um, if you are in prostitution by choice, you have to be of age, first of all. Nobody who isn't of age can choose to do it. So it's automatically considered trafficking if it's a minor. But you can choose to enter the sex work industry. And those who choose to enter the sex work industry, you have spent a lot of time with them. What do we need to understand about their dignity? You know, I think it's a really complex question because for me, it is so important to uphold the dignity and respect for each individual woman. So I will speak, I think, from my experience. Um, and But I do want to say that it is so important to me that each woman feel respected by that because we do need to respect the choice of an individual. As I have had conversations in this industry of prostitution, the one thing that has stood out to me is for the women that I have spoken with who are there by choice, when I do hear some of their stories and the things that have happened, I have to admit there is part of me that feels like was there really, truly a free choice in this? Um, I think some of the things that have happened along the way that end up getting a person to that place where they're making this choice, if we were to know all of those details, I don't think it's 
always as black and white as we might want it to be. Having said that, I've asked that question to women that work on the front lines of this all the time. That's one of the questions I ask, and we have a good relationship with the group in Amsterdam. And one of the answers I received, she said, after 12 years of going out in the red light district at night, I haven't actually met a woman that I feel like is there by entirely free choice. There's always something that happened where something seems to have been taken away from her along the way. She said, but having said that, I do believe that they are out there. So we really need to be careful that we don't pretend that there isn't anyone who might choose to do this. Um, yeah, so. Okay, I, 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 here's the takeaway for me on choice uh, versus trafficked. It's the word vulnerability. Mm -hmm. We have got to do everything we can to protect women and girls from being vulnerable. And in that course, they d actually lose their free choice. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Naomi Zacharias of Wellspring International, thank you so much. Oh, thank you for having me. Hit subscribe and the notification bell to get our weekly episodes and web exclusives.